Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, fourth video of this Game Promise series. In the previous video we start creating the game level and we create the asteroids and the ship entities. Uh, for this video we will create the environment and add uh, some effects of the of this thing, okay? So let's start doing the the background, the environment. So uh, WaveNG has an interesting component for doing a background scenario, which is the skybox. The skybox represents exactly that. A skybox which you can assign a cube map and renders the, the complete environment. So, uh, for assigning that into our game, we have to add that component into the camera 3D. For example, this camera. Uh, we select it and we add a new component and in the add component dialog we can type uh, skybox here it is and you can see the the component properties uh, the orientation which allows you to change the the skybox preference but for now it's okay if we select in the cube map path uh, slot we can check the space background cube map and that's it. If we save and we simulate this thing, we can see the background which is pretty awesome. It's much more realistic. So, okay, we want to add the stars and a planet at the background. Uh, it's not a good idea putting the stars into the skybox because that will force us to make a huge cube map with a huge resolution. So that's not good for performance. So instead of that, we have a model just for that, which is the environment model, which has, we, we created with a lot of small stars, with small planes. And if we create that, we drag it into this thing. We have this huge amount of stars and this big black box here, which is a plane we will allocate the, the planet texture, okay? So, first of all, we have to start creating the materials for the stars and the material for the planet like we did before for the for the ship and the asteroids okay so we click on the materials folder click right click and click on create material so first of all we will start with the planet this texture of here it's a really cool texture we disable the lightning because we this is just a planet in the background, it won't be affected by lighting. And click on the alpha layer that will hide the transparent parts. Uh, really nice. I think that's for now. We can click on create and rename it like planet mat, planet material, and then the same but with the stars material click on the stars texture we disable the lighting and this time we will add this material to the additive layer we will make it shine like a star Yeah, uh, we have two materials, so if we select the recently created uh, object, we can assign the materials for, but first of all, we will place it into the zero point, and name it into background, background. And like we did with the chip, we didn't rename it star mat, sorry, and do that again, planet mat and stars mat. 
so here we have we have the planet we have the huge amount of stars and this is much better than putting them into the into the cube map and uh, we can it, that allow us to make a really high resolution planet texture and if we click on the simulate button now we'll see a really amazing environment space environment now for the last part we will add the the thrust effect we have here the thrust and now we will create it in a different way for example we can create an empty entity and start adding the different components to show you how to operate with them so we create a new empty entity that only has a transform 3d we call it thrust and place it into the center point so if we click on the add button and type model we can see the different uh, components that we can add uh, if we click on model renderer it will detect that the model renderer needs a, a model object and then the model objects are at the same time needs a materials map so uh, web engine will add all those components you you can see it has the model component and the materials map component they are empty for now so we can add the thrust model which is huge this is the default texture don't don't get alarmed and we can scale down like we did with the chip ten percent and then we have to create again the, the material for that so right click on it create material uh, select the thrust texture again we need to add the additive layer and this disable the lightning change the sample mode instead of linear wrap we can linear clamp that will avoid uh, the mosaic effect and as you see you there's no white point here okay so we click on create and assign it to the thrust object We can place it here. Like this for now. So we will add a new component here and click again into the spinner component. We will make it uh, rotate so we want to rotate in this in this axis in the Z axis so if we click for example like uh, 50 so if we click in the simulate button we'll see the thrust effect here we can make it faster for example 80 and click on the simulator again to see it I think it's pretty cool now the next thing we want to do is to add that component as a child of the chip okay so for doing that we can drag thrust entity into the chip entity like this so oh, we have to move again the object and let's back to the one scale because 
because the parent object is scaled into the 10th percent uh, we have to keep the 100 percent to the child object and if we move again we can place it again into this point and the next error is that wave, vent, wave engine maintains the hierarchy so if we move this object you can see that the thrust is going with him so the next part we want to do is add another two thrust uh, entities so for doing that you, you, we can click on duplicate for doing things easier we will select all the asteroids and move them away then put the chip into the zero point this two we we'll rename it to thrust two and we add it into the to the chip and we can place it like this we can place here and uh, we can change the scale reflecting the the different shape of the engine and we just can duplicate this item and add it to the chip and again let's place in the new engine and here we have sorry we have to remove these spinner components because they are not cool for this one we have this uh, awesome chip with these awesome asteroids and this really awesome background so this finished the basic string creation we we put all the different elements into this thing on the next chapter we will start adding behaviors and components creating our custom component and you will learn how to start adding your gameplay into our games and how to program at the same time in your IDE and at the same time we wait editor okay so stay tuned and I hope you really like this video and keep watching us thank you